Second Life is an online virtual world created by Linden Lab. Users can create their own environments and interact with other people from around the world in spaces that aren't bound by the physical rules of the real world. You can visit secondlife.com to create your own avatar for free. An avatar is an electronic representation of yourself that other people will encounter in the virtual world. You can customize the appearance of your avatar, then fill in some simple registration details and download the Second Life application to your computer. Because Second Life is a completely three-dimensional world, your computer will need to have a powerful graphics card. You'll also need to have a very fast internet connection to get the most from this environment. Once the application has downloaded to your computer, you simply launch and log in using the details you just created when you set up your account. Once logged in, you're taken to an orientation area where you learn the basics of movement, interacting with objects, and viewing items within Second Life. There are also a series of control tabs on the right-hand side of the screen which will give you more information about the world in which you find yourself. There's such things as destination guides, maps, ability to change your appearance, and a quick start guide to help you get moving. Because this is a virtual world, physical laws don't apply. Avatars have the ability to fly, and fantastic buildings and landscapes can be easily created. This offers users the potential to create many different educational scenarios that simply wouldn't be possible in real life. Second Life allows you to bookmark different locations within the virtual world, such as islands, and you can easily travel between them by teleporting instantly. Individuals or educational institutions also have the opportunity to buy their own virtual islands. This means that they are given control of a plot of land within the world where they can create their own educational environments. Many different types of media such as PowerPoints, interactive games and activities, videos, sound files can be incorporated into objects within the environment so that users can interact, wander, experience and learn. 